Hey everyone, James here from Hurry the Food Up. Today is a special Christmas edition and we're going to be talking about how to manage your weight during this festive period. This can be a tricky time for lots of different reasons, so we're going to run through five tips to help you look after your weight and come through Christmas feeling positive and looking forward to the new year. If you're new to the channel, then hey, welcome and happy Christmas. We do weekly videos on loads of different weight loss topics. So if that sounds good to you, then make sure you press subscribe and the notification icon to stay up to date with our videos. And actually, I think this full face one is a bit too much. So I'm going to swap back to the other hat. So the first tip is all about mindset. And there's one huge thing that I need to get across to you and for you to remember over Christmas. Short-term changes are not going to impact your long-term weight loss goals. If you end up eating more than you meant to or need to over the Christmas period, then don't worry. What you do over a day, a couple of days or even a week is not going to make any difference over the next six months or the next year. So just remember that and don't feel guilty or down and instead focus on the positives Weight loss is a journey and it's all about balance. Try to imagine yourself as someone who enjoys a healthy lifestyle and this will empower you to make healthier food choices and it will be easier if you already have that self-image in your head. And if you do make those better food choices, you don't have to think of it as a negative or like it's a punishment. And you can say, I'm doing this for my long-term health and feel great about it. So we're gonna link this next tip with our last one. In my opinion, and this is what I talk about with our members, you shouldn't restrict food groups over the Christmas period. Chocolate or alcohol aren't inherently evil and they're not something that you need to avoid. And actually, we want to build a good relationship with food and restricting food groups generally doesn't foster that relationship. What I've found is that it's also really common for people to try to completely avoid these naughty foods with good intentions but it ends up backfiring. We've only got a finite amount of willpower and after trying to ignore something, we end up doing the opposite. <laughs> we want what we can't have. So we end up going, bugger it, I'm gonna have some. And often far more than we planned. Then we get regret and we get into that negative mindset. Well, let's put a stop to that and we'll do that with the next tip. Mindful eating during the Christmas period is one of the most powerful tools that you have at your disposal. Remember I mentioned in the last tip about not restricting any food groups and about trying to break that negative cycle after eating too much. So how do you go about doing that? Well, you eat more mindfully. You make a decision. I'm gonna eat this chocolate because, oh, it is tasty and I'm gonna eat it and I'm gonna enjoy it. No guilt, no shame eat it, love it, and then put it away. Make that decision to eat a certain amount of it and feel great about it. You've satisfied your sweet tooth without going overboard. And a bonus tip related to this mindful eating is to sit away from those sharing pots or tubs of sweets or biscuits. When you sit next to them, it's so easy to just graze while you're enjoying time with your friends or your family. But if it's not within easy reach, it's much less likely, so again, Make those mindful decisions that you're gonna eat some of them and then stop. I would also recommend trying to keep active during this festive period. It's not always easy when there's so much going on, but how about a 20 minute walk? 20 minutes isn't a big part of your day, but it can make a massive difference physically and mentally. So try and do that and remember that I enjoy a healthy lifestyle approach that we've already talked about. It's pretty common to feel a bit sluggish and just a bit bleh after eating lots of chocolate or spending lots of time indoors. So going for a 20 minute walk will just help you feel that little bit better from that point of view as well. So I would really recommend it. The final tip today is to try to keep to some sort of food routine. By having some sort of plan or structure to your day, you can reduce the likelihood that you're just going to snack or eat whatever whenever. A great idea here is to start with a healthy filling breakfast. You set yourself up well for the day and can feel awesome about it. And if chocolate happens to just sneak its way in, well, don't beat yourself up about it. Like I said, enjoy it, be mindful of it, but don't worry about it. If you're interested, by the way, in what a healthy weight loss meal plan looks like, 
then click the link in the corner of the screen and you can download our free meal plan. Otherwise, we are at the end of today's video, so I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you found it useful. Let me know in the comments if you have a goal over the Christmas period because I'd love to hear it. So happy Christmas from us at Hurry the Food Up. Have a great time and we'll see you in the next video.